children must come as something of a dampener for you to be faced by a rather aging inspector in the middle of this feast of talent and beauty. But it is my duty to recall for you one moment of reality. And it was on an occasion when His Royal Highness was visiting the north of England, the royal car had to make a detour owing to a diversion and was forced through a most unsalubrious neighborhood. Are you out with that lazy friend of yours again? Now, come on, Bobby, there's a good foot in. Come and have your milk. If you don't, I'll drink it myself. Come good. on, Bobby. Good morning, madam. Oh, good morning. Uh, are you the new rent man? I am a chief inspector of police, madam. Oh, dear. Sonny Jim hasn't broken out, has he? Sonny Jim? Jed Stone is my lodger. Oh, he hasn't escaped, has he? Well, I shouldn't be surprised, madam, but that is not my business here. My job is to search the royal route before the royal car passes through. Oh, it is exciting, isn't it? I'm Mrs. Caldwell, number five. Uh, Chief Inspector Rose, ma'am. Rose? Hmm. Oh, I had an auntie called Rose. Uh. <laughs> well, this is Coronation Street now. Let me see, number five, number seven. I wonder what happened there. Number nine and number 11. Yes, I know about number 11. Oh, Mrs. Tanner's. I've heard about Mrs. Tanner, too. <laughs> Mr. Fairclough. Hello, darling. Hello, love. So, right. this is what goes on after 8 o'clock on Mondays and Wednesdays, is it? <laughs> Just watch it, Buck. I haven't had a good punch up in eight episodes, you know. Ah, well, I couldn't get my plum around this early. You could if you looked like Elsie Tanner. <laughs> Big Ed. Did somebody call me? <laughs> Dennis Tanner! Dennis Tanner, the deputy light! Come here, Dad, come here. What about me? Is your mother in? Ah, oh, she's tapping herself up for him. HR each. <laughs> no, him, Len Furclough. Well, will you tell her that I want to see her? I want to check her particulars. You get in the queue, Wack. Now, go on, Len, hurry up, hurry up. Mom! One word from you, Wack, and he get a bunch of five there. He's a police inspector. I, I didn't mean it, lover. I think our policemen are wonderful. You can lock me up any time. Well, don't mind me, will you? Dennis Tanner. Yes, ma'am. What are you doing in pyjamas? I'm shivering. Well, get in the house and get some clothes on. But I want to see Thingy. Thingy? <gasps> If you mean watching a call it, you don't call him singing. <laughs> ah, but you knew what I meant, though, didn't you? Yeah, well, you can't see him in pyjamas. Oh, I don't think he'll be wearing pyjamas, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Hello, my lovely. When's he due? In the moment now. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I the Ladies, gentlemen, may I present my friend and colleague, Mr. Walter Hunt? We're here to see the Earl of Merionor. Who? Baron Greenwich. Mr. Papagopoulos has very kindly offered us two seats in his private box. Private box? Yes, the display window. From there, we, we should get a perfect view of the Duke of, uh, of uh, Edinburgh. Quite so. Hey, which way will he come from? From there, from Viaduct Street. Oh, oh well, let's get the <laughs> Bye, uh, Larry never painted out like you lot. Oh, hello, Ina. Here, hutch up and let Ina get in. Come on, hutch down a bit. Hey, aren't you going to stay and see him? See him? <laughs> You'll be lucky. He'll be down this street before you can say milk stout. At least he will if he's got any sense. 
And if they look in the other way, you'll only see the back of his head. Oh, I don't know, look, he might call in for a cup of tea. Ooh. See how the other half live, you know. I'd best go and put the kettle on. You come here, you dirty <coughs> And who are you? He's a copper. Oh, I come to keep us in order, have you? See, we don't chuck a rip rap at him. I thought you'd have been painting doors or shoving window boxes in or something. Mrs. Sharples, I presume. Well, what's that got to do with it, eh? Uh, hey, hey, up! up. They're coming! No, 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 back, please. Will you just back a little? Right, up. Right, is that right? Ready? What a smashing car! Oh, never mind the car. Look what's in it. It's gorgeous! Hey, I ain't bad at all! Hey, Len! It's all over, both ex Matlows. Up there, Andrew! Oh, isn't he brown? So he ought to be. He's all as abroad. <laughs> I'd tame him if he was mine. <laughs> well, is that it then? Yeah, well, that's, that's it. You're just like a dose of salt. Right, well, who's for the Rover's return? That's I am. Oh, give all the luggage! Help it! Oh, golly, Jim. Ma! Oh, sonny Jim, you've come back. Uh, well, yes, in a manner of speaking, man, you see, he walked out of his cell like Georgie Blake, you know what I mean, a stroll across the wall, I nipped over the wall like Charlie Wilson, and I mingled, I mingled with the outside world like Alfie Orange, you know, he's made a fortune out of it. Well, listen, love, what happened when I come back here? All the coppers are out on the beat looking for me. Oh, no, it's not for you, Sonny Jim, it's for Prince Philip. You mean he's gone over the wall from Buckingham Scrubs? <laughs> No, love, no, he's just visiting. God bless Edinburgh Phil. From now on, he's a mucker of mine. Do you know that man, a mucker? Hey, listen, love, you're going to ask me in because I can't walk around like this, can I? Hey? I mean, they're getting very touchy about this, you know, the investigations and oh, all that yes, going on. Oh, yes, of course. Come on in, or what am I thinking? Hey, hang on, love, hang on, love. Which way did he go? Oh, he went up there. Oh, thanks, Raph. And not a word to your Uncle Louis. <laughs> <laughs> 